Hello guys, welcome back to another short video in this react series. This is a continuation of my previous video in which I have clearly explained all the steps to add a basic react date picker. In this video, we'll announce that one to show multiple calendar views like this to the user so that users can select a date from different months. As you can see here, we have shown three months from current date. So let's see how we can achieve this one in our react application. For that one let me open the code editor first here i have a code for basic react date picker from our previous video if you preview this one in browser you can see we have basic react date picker from where user can select the dates and they can navigate to different months and here we can observe only one view is available to the user as we are intended to add two more months for this one to achieve that one you need to add the months shown prop in your date picker element which we have added earlier for that one add months shown and then within flower bracket you need to mention how many months you want to show as i said i want to show three months i can mention three like this so here this months shown prop allows you to display three months side by side in the calendar view you can increase the number of months as per your requirement or decrease it that's purely based on your requirement so that's it what you need to do let's save this one react auto compiles now let's go back to browser now if you click on the date picker you can see three months are visible here so user can select a date from any of these three months similarly if you change that one to six now you can see there are six months view is available to the user so that user can select any date from these six months from the current date so this multiple calendar views enables the user to see multiple calendar months at once which makes easier to select dates across different months without navigating to those months using arrows this is a short announcement but it will be useful in many real time scenarios so that's it guys for this short video thanks for watching this if you have any questions or want to see more tutorials like this please let me know in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe for more coding tutorials like this